This journey begins in Kashgar, former trading town along the Silk Road, and now the starting point for one of the most stunning travel routes on the planet, the Karakoram Highway. Stretching a grand 1200 kilometers from Kashgar to Islamabad, thereby connecting Central Asia to the southern subcontinent, this is truly one of the most impressive engineering feats in human history. Officially opened for tourism and trade in 1986, after two decades of full-time construction work, severe weather patterns continue to challenge the highway and often disrupt traffic on at least some parts of the road. The same was true when I set out to embark on a memorable journey. This is the Karakoram Highway. first stretch was a relative breeze. Paved roads made the trip to Karakol Lake feel like a summer holiday. Karakol is, without exaggerating, among the most beautiful places in Central Asia. Sitting at 3,700 meters, it is still dominated by two mountains that reach nearly 8 kilometers high, Mustah Atta and Mount Kongur. Spending the night in style, I was welcomed by a Kyrgyz family, living in a yurt. A traditional tent-like structure specifically designed for nomads. After a dinner of bread and fresh goat meat, lights went out quickly, as people can only use a minimum amount of electricity, having to rely on solar energy year-round. The following morning couldn't come soon enough, as an eerie silence and a bitter cold made sleeping difficult. Gladly, sunlight came early and quickly I found myself along the roadside, trying to catch a ride to the next destination, Tashkurgan. After an hour, a heavy truck stopped near the yurt. Proving not to be the quickest mode of transportation, the truck did get me where I wanted the driver himself going all the way on to the Pakistan border. That Pakistan border came quickly for me too, although I did have to spend two days in Tashkurgan, which is not the most thriving town in the world. Filming this lack of the journey was quite difficult as two Chinese soldiers accompanied the minivan until the border. Located at the Kunjara Pass, this was the official entry into Pakistan. At 4700 meters and slowly descending, the paved highway quickly changed into a dirt road, a track and eventually became a full-blown construction site. Arriving in Sost, a strip of little supermarkets and tea shops, a petrol station and a few hotels actually came as a relief.
Now proud owner of a Pakistani travel visa, the next leg proved by far the most challenging. The region that had to be travelled was hit by a huge landslide early in 2010, which had flooded a major part of the Paswan Kulmit area and created a massive artificial lake. The road had vanished, people had suffered tremendously and the only transport available were local ships carrying Chinese aid to the other side. After setting off, the weather became a bit more unstable and quickly turned into a rocky scenario. Massive waves, heavy wind and rain and 20 or so passengers on a ship that was already severely overloaded made even the captain nervous. Great excitement therefore as we finally reached the other side. The two hours on the lake had felt like a lifetime. After walking through fine dust and sand for a few kilometers, jeeps eventually picked us up to bring us to the final destination of the day, Karimabad. Welcome to the Hunza Valley. A magnificent area filled with friendly people, awe-inspiring mountain landscapes, reddening orchards and by some accounts a true lost kingdom. This place kept my attention for more than a few days and with sorrow and a little regret I stepped into a minibus to travel as far as Skardu off the actual Karakoram highway but spectacular nonetheless. Traveling around the Skardu area was unexpectedly challenging. An otherwise easy trip turned into a little adventure as a sandstorm suddenly picked up, covering the Indus Valley in thick dust. At times when the weather was actually good, the true beauty of the Skardu region was magical. As a privileged western traveller I had the choice of flying to Islamabad instead of a 30 to 35 hour bus journey back to Hunza and onward to the capital of Pakistan. This time I actually did decide to take the easy road. 
few days later I stepped on a plane to conclude my journey along the Karakoram Highway. But this time, from the skies, 